Jimmy Fallon. And this is Fox News Saturday Night. Come on, hop in. Oh, baby boy. We are doing live TV on primary night. Don't screw it up, Jimmy. Anyway, it was a big night in South Carolina tonight, but now that you're done voting for the Republican Party, it's time for the keg party, where everybody is welcome, no matter which way you lean. In that spirit, tonight we have a liberal comedian, which I only point out because if you follow her on Instagram, you'd think she was an OnlyFans model. <laughs> Say hello to Corinne Fisher as you've never seen her before with clothes on. Hey, girl. I was wondering how you would creatively call me a slut tonight, and you nailed it. And I got it. Wow. I got the job it. done. Uh, <laughs> We also have a Fox Business host who is back to work off his bar tab from all the whiskey I've bought him over the years. Brian <laughs> Brenberg of the there. crowd goes Working wild. It. And a former Michigan gubernatorial candidate who we brought back because last time she promised to bring mud wrestling oh. to politics and our ratings went through the roof. <laughs> Tudor Dixon is here, so get those dollar bills ready. All right, where's the mud? Let's go, TD. <laughs> here we go. It's coming. It's slinging. Now, as I tell the viewers every weekend, Fox News Saturday Night is a safe space for cool people who want to put their political differences aside for an hour, which means you could be a Republican, a Democrat, or even someone who doesn't know which party to belong to at this point, like Nikki Haley. <laughs> Dude, I personally like the South Carolina governor uh, quite a bit, former South Carolina governor. She came on this show. She admitted to doing a keg stand in college, which we could never hold against her because half my staff is doing keg stands in the control room right now. <laughs> But if you missed Fox's outstanding Democracy 2024 coverage of the South Carolina primary, I can sum it up for you rather quickly. Nikki Haley is becoming the political equivalent of Milton from Office Space. <laughs> you know the guy who gets fired but keeps showing up in Office Space? Do you know who I'm talking about? Where's the about? stapler? Where's the stapler? Thank you, that's what Where's I was going to say. I said she should basically be bringing a red stapler <laughs> to all oh, of sorry. her events from here on in. <laughs> Hi, Milton. What's happening? I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to have to ask you to go ahead and move your desk again. So but no. if you could go ahead and get it as far back against that wall as possible, that would be great. <laughs> Poor Milton. Now, office space ends with Milton setting fire to the building. But we don't have to worry about Nikki because in the sequel, Joe Biden's already set fire to the country. Now, look, I'm not going to spend the night bashing Biden because I don't think anybody should judge the guy until they've tripped a mile in his shoes. <laughs> but the point I'm trying to make is it would appear the Republican race belongs to Big Don. And not only is Trump's resounding victory given Nikki a reason to step aside, but he's even provided the footwear to do it in. Look at this. Trump unveiled a sneaker line this week, and it sold out in minutes. I believe these are called Hair Jordans. <laughs> now, I should be upfront with the viewers. If you buy a pair of these, it won't get you drafted by the NBA, but it will get you watched by the CIA. <laughs> so you got that going for you. The shoes were listed at 399 bucks, but Letitia James says they've been overvalued <laughs> and is vowing to prosecute anyone who buys them at that price. Oh, no, you didn't. Corinne, yay or nay on the Trump kicks? Um, I like the idea. The execution leaves a little to be desired. <laughs> You're not a fan. Yeah. TD, would you rock Trump kicks? Um, it's definitely my style. I'm usually in all gold when I'm not on on. on that is true. You were like an ice capade in another <laughs> life. Some type, something scantily clad. We know, Tudor, and that's why we love Love you. Uh, but with or without the Trump sneaks, if Nikki really wants to help the country, she should go to the White House right now and train their dog. Did you see this? A report emerged this week that Commander, the German Shepherd who resides in the White House, has bitten Secret Service members 24 times during Biden's time in office. Now, everybody's bashing Commander, but in his defense, dogs have a very strong sense of smell. And as we learned over the summer, there is a <laughs> lot of cocaine in this White House. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a little hopped up, too, if you were snorting leftover booger sugar in the Lincoln bedroom all day. Lay off the dog. But for what it's worth, the White House is not commenting, and they're referring all questions to Commander's trainer, Michael Vick. Oh, don't you dare judge me for that joke, America. He did it, not me. Stop it. Regardless, it doesn't look like this will be the year that Nikki follows in the footsteps of George Washington, or as Google's new AI software calls Washington, our nation's first black president. <laughs> okay, so like this is my favorite story of the week by far. Dig this. Google unveiled some new AI software and they pumped it full of so many woke diversity requirements that it refuses to draw white people. So even if the images are historically inaccurate, for instance, if you asked for a picture of the founding fathers this week, you got back this image. 
Like, come on, Google. Everybody knows black men didn't dress like that back then. Hello, they dress like that today. <laughs> Google has vowed to fix the software, but unfortunately, their CEO had to turn down an invitation to come on our show because he just put up a winning bid on O.J. Simpson's white Bronco. <laughs> By the way, gotta love a Bronco. <laughs> gotta love a Bronco. Way to keep up with the group, Dixon. <laughs> Corinne, were you old enough for the Bronco chase? I was old enough. I was like nine when that was happening. Wow. I remember it vividly. I was on my grandma's floor. Is that is that actually the relationship that formed your outlook on love? <laughs> you always have a curious take. Is that now it makes sense because you were nine? I don't know. Yeah, I might have driven by the house. <laughs> <laughs> Once <Sick>. or twice. <laughs> you know what I'll never forget about it, Brenberg? That was during the Knicks being in the NBA Finals. Oh, yeah. That was actually, when you think back of it now, that's the most shock, shocking detail of the OJ chase right. is the Knicks won a playoff <laughs> game. Forget about a slow-mo chase. The Knicks are in the playoffs. The Knicks exactly. in the playoff game. Great point. Tudor, what do you think about guys who drive Broncos asking for a friend? I, well, I mean, I think they're very sexy, dangerous, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. And she said that without knowing. By the way, I drive a white Bronco. And it was so funny when I went to the Ford dealer and I, I got the white one for, for real. The guy was like, seriously? But I will say this. My wife has never behaved better. Uh, there is no back talk since that white Bronco hit the driveway. Zip it, Jenny. <laughs> Of course, nobody had a crazier Bronco chase this week than authorities in Philadelphia. Look at this one. And this is why you never buy a horse a Fitbit. Dude just wants to get his steps in. <laughs> now, the locals were shocked because normally the only time you see a horse running like this in Philly is when an Eagles fan wants to punch it after a playoff loss. <laughs> but in this instance, the horse escaped from a local farm and hit the highway. The good news is the horse wasn't injured. The bad news is the cops wrote him a ticket for using the HOV lane without a passenger. <laughs> and rightfully so. Okay, I couldn't watch the video without telling you the talking horse joke, so you have Ooh. to humor me on this. Mm. My grandma, Fela, told street jokes. She was Sicilian, and she liked to end every conversation with a joke, and then she'd say to me, I love you, honey. Don't ever put anything in writing. <laughs> That's, like, That's like, great advice. I know, but as like a three-year-old kid, I couldn't even write. Right, let alone know what it meant. Looking back now, she was obviously a racketeer, <laughs> right. but I didn't know it at the time. Anyway, here it is. So a horse walks into a bar. He flags down the bartender, and he goes, give me a great goose martini, extra dry. And he puts a $20 bill on the bar. The bartender makes the drink, brings it back, hands the horse $3 and change. He leans in close, and he goes, I got to tell you, we don't get a lot of talking horses in this bar. And the horse goes, it's 17 bucks a drink. I'm not surprised. <laughs> There it is, everybody. Grandma Phil and making a cameo on the show. She's I love been... that you knew what Grey Goose Vodka was at three. That's, a, that's <laughs> not a problem. That's, that's, that's the lead here, and that sums up a lot of the fashion choices. All right, panel, let's talk about it with the yellow jacket Ooh, on the line, which that. is, of course, given to my favorite panelist every Saturday night. Mm. Corinne and Tudor both trying to become the first two-time recipient mm. of the jacket. Oh, gosh, thanks a lot. Corinne won last time because she was hilarious. Take a bow. And uh, Tudor just needed to be covered up after talking about her boobs for an hour. So uh, could it be Brenberg's night. I'm, there's no way I'm going to win this. Here we go. Honest. You know, you Come just on. don't know. There's no way. Tudor, let me ask. What would you rather be in charge of right now? Nikki Haley's campaign or Commander the Dog? Oh, the com Commander the Dog because... <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, because I would love to be in that White House and see what's actually happening. If I have to be in charge of him, oh. then I get to see who mm. has the cocaine. <laughs> it, it's obvious, though. I mean, maybe it's the Secret Service. Uh -huh. Maybe it's what they use to get Joe out there. I don't know, but I'd get to know. <laughs> you think they're hopping him up. Uh, Corinne, you're obviously... A liberal, and we love that about you. I uh, just because, shouted it once on the air, and now everyone can't stop well, because, bringing it up. Because I want to store it's credit that we want liberals on the show. That's not who we are. I know. We're like, but, we have one. Yeah, yeah. no, we're I'm thrilled. Here. This is a big deal. I'm here. That's all we had. No question. Brenberg. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, you got off easy. I'll just should, reveal the chains around should, my ankles. I should, can't should, leave. I love it. Should, we have it here for every show. Should Nikki uh, put on a pair of Trump sneaks and quit the race, or do you want her to keep going? Oh, I, you know. Uh, oh, no, no. That was Corinne. You picked Sixer question. I pick Corinne. Sixer question. We're not going to get the yellow Denver, jacket that way, last. baby. Um, I, well, I mean, she's not going to win, but I like that she just keeps going because I think that's how Trump won the presidency. You, you just know? keep going. The first, you just keep going. Don't okay. listen to what anyone's thank you saying. For not, thank you for not saying he won it because of Russia. No. You took the high road. We, we appreciate We respect no, that. No, he just kept Brenberg, going. last thing. Lincoln you and sure I. this one's for me? Lincoln and <laughs> okay. I. Okay. Lincoln and I like to refer to Trump as Big Don. 
Okay. Because we think it refreshes the brand, because everybody has an emotional reaction to Trump, plus Big Don carries 80s wrestler connotation. Do you like the idea of him referring to himself as Big Don? I love 80s wrestler connotation. Yep. I think he would love that. He yep. goes from the top rope, whatever he does, Thank that's you. 80s wrestling. Plus, all the way. Biden's been introducing himself to people as Ricky the Dragon <laughs> Simbo. So it marks out in the end. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.